Today's angle is brought to you by Chaos Tech, Tuffy Boat, The Musky Shop, Vex and Fishing, Custom X, B Socks Assault, and Lee Lures Custom Bait. What's up, everybody? Hey, hey. I bet you're wondering, what are these guys packing for? Where are we going, Lee? Where do you think we're going? Where do we always go this time <laughs> of year? It's November. We're going for a 50-pounder, baby! <laughs> you have to, you have to. Yeah. So, this is our last shot at a true, true giant. Super giant. So, that's the game plan. We got a little journey ahead of us. And winter is not here. It's really beautiful today. We'd catch a lot of fish locally here today. Yep. But up there where we're going? It is snowing, there's snow on the ground. It's yeah, uh, not good. Winter's it's... there. So we're going to winter. I guess this time of year though, that's when right. you the mega, caught your personal the, Right, best. right, my mega monster. So that's the plans. We're gonna spend, I don't know, four days maybe up there. Maybe more. We'll maybe see. more. We'll see if they're really biting, but I don't know. This is gonna kickstart a little series of, you know, day by day of the musky November grind. Hopefully it happens. We just want the one bite. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. <laughs> get around in this town Minneapolis rush hour traffic we're crawling we are crawling to our destination we are going backwards <laughs> to our destination it is busy about oh let's see it's five o'clock yeah perfect time to be going through the cities lesson learned don't don't go through um, the Twin Cities at this time bad idea all this just for one 50 pound mosquito hopefully Everybody, your guys are probably confused. <laughs> no, we didn't drive all night. <laughs> it, it's the next morning. Uh, we had a little pit stop last night. We had a free night stay. Yes, at so, good buddy Bart Rosen's. That was very kind of him to let us have a place to crash. Got up this early this morning, and now we're headed Head to, to the, the water. water. So <laughs> I'm getting scared. I love it up here. Oh my gosh. This is it, folks. This is where the men, our men, and the muskies are scared. <laughs> muskies are fat, actually. Oh my Very gosh. fat. <laughs> the fattest they'll begin, so. The thing is, the next three days is probably the end of muskie fishing here in the north until next season. Pretty because much. Because it is gonna be calm Sunday night, low of six. Six degrees already. Low of 10. The lakes are, are they're locked, there's ice all around us here. All the potholes are all, all iced up. It's almost over. Gonna give it our our last chance and oh. We're gonna give it our best odds. We're all... Give our best odds, give our best odds, oh. give our best odds. Give our best odds. Give it our best give odds. Give them our best odds. <laughs> classic, classic. We're just really happy you're along for the ride here. This could potentially be our, the biggest moment yeah, of our life. Yeah, yeah, our greatest video ever. Greatest fish ever. So the chances are there. We just got to go out and do it. Or it could be an epic fail. But the thing is, when you're chasing fish of this caliber, there's no such thing as fail. No. If you are on the water where they exist and you're beating it up, that's all you can really ask for. This We are no longer in the truck anymore. We are on the water finally. It is finally. 10.30. We got some, got a little time to make up here. Hopefully stick that big one. What's Sometimes, the game plan? Uh, this time of year, the hard part is just getting in the boat. Uh, no no docks anywhere. Uh, <laughs> trying to find a, a, you know, a spot on shore that you can actually pull up to that isn't full of iced over boulders. Yep. So, so we I, did drive around the lake and uh, we did not find any bait. <laughs> no, we so, don't see anything. So out that's here. you know whatever, whatever. We'll just start casting here and uh, 
casting. Or are we trolling? I guess we are trolling. We are trolling. It's way too cold to cast. Uh, It'd take about 10 minutes. I'm a little gun ho to <laughs> cast for big ones, but whatever. No, no it's what we got here? time. This is not like Green Bay. We can't put out six rods. <laughs> no. This is one per person. Oh, boy. We're bringing out the big guns, boys, right there. All right. For the bait, we're going to run the Lee Lures. Color shift white fish pelagic. And the interesting thing about these crankbaits is that they walk all over the place. I'm not even going to the fast speed yet, and you can see this thing. Got to pull it a little bit. I'm only going two miles an hour, 2.5. See, once I get my normal speed, that thing will start walking all over the place. For gear, I've got 40 pound mono and when it comes to trolling rods, the Custom X 8 foot heavy. This thing is the sickest trolling rod I've ever used without a doubt. I, I think you could run over this thing with my truck and the thing would still be fine. These guides, they're just uh, stain, uh, steel guides. I mean, you, you can step on this thing. I just don't think you could hurt this thing. 30 feet back in the holder, bait clicker on, drag. Definitely not locked. You want that just kind of snug. For speed, we're going gonna go about three to four miles an hour. Three and a half is probably good. All right, there we go. Now we sit and wait. All right, Lee and I have to decide who's reeling in the Minnesota State record. So, Lee, I'll have you have first choice. Heads or tails? Um, let's see. I'm gonna go tails. Tails, all right. That means I got heads. Hopefully this doesn't go in, into the water. Oh. As it I lies. Guess, I guess, I guess that'll work. On the cradle. As it <laughs> lays. That's where it's gonna happen. That's, that's so weird. That's where the record will be in. The we'll cradle will be weighing it. That's weird. That's weird. Okay. We're gonna go with that. I, I like that. All right. Did say tails? Did he say tails? <laughs> yeah, I said tails. <laughs> okay, and hurry up and wait. Oh my gosh, that might be a muskie right there. Huh. That'd be cool. Okay, well, heat of the day here. We've decided to... Uh, cast some structure instead since uh, this will be the warmest part of the day we did locate some bait so that's a good thing but uh, no luck yet on the trolling patrol here but uh, hey that's big fish fishing we'll go try a trolling uh, casting path more brake line structure related as opposed to the open water where we kind of found the bait fish. They're never always doing the same thing at the same time. So, and then always remember when you're bringing in your trolling baits, work it like you were working a bait casting because you never know what's going to come up behind that bait. things some bait oh dude look at this was that a fish i don't know dude it might have been did you see something i thought i had a mirage but if there's a fish going down yeah i'm gonna drop my deuce it down okay. had to be a fish yeah and then it was like turning away like it was super deep okay guys update i missed a follow Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. She was so hot. Oh my gosh. How big was that thing? 54, 53. Oh my gosh. She came in so good on a f on the boiler maker. 
that thing looked gigantic. She was gonna eat, man. I don't know what, why she stopped. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm just shaking right now. Lee was just saying how he used, he'd get them shallow back in the day in like six feet of water on rock bars and uh, we slid up first, I don't know, this is my second, third cast actually fishing. Slow rolling it, I mean crawling. I don't want to take my bait out of the water. But yeah, got to get a waypoint down in, here. Came on, on the boiler maker super slow, like ridiculously slow. That thing was going to eat. I don't know why it didn't. But we got to get a waypoint down so we know where she lives. Water temp is 43, 44 degrees right now. Oh, bucktails? That, that, that cold? Bucktails, really? Wow. Dude, I saw that whole thing. That was a giant fish. Giant. Well, at least we got one to shoot for this evening here so this was my retrieve speed on that on that crawling it the blades it's kind of spinning and then it'll stop a little it's like it's just oh my gosh that thing was so big she can't it was a, such a late i like had this weird thing that i knew like a follow was gonna happen and then there it was big old flipping brown giant behind my bucktail oh probably my boiler maker Oh, there she is. She came in late on me. Oh my God, is that thing huge? She's on you, dude. She's on you. She's on it. Came in really late on mine. Yeah, I saw the tail. Dude, that thing's freaking 55 inches. No way. I don't know if it was the same fish or not, man. Dude, same icon, though. That thing was so long. I don't know if it was two different fish, but at any rate... There's at least one that's 45 plus pounds. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, my heart is beating. Hopes are high now, that's for sure. No Holy doubt. cow, that's just the, the stamina boost after that is just insane. I'm still kind of shaking after seeing a fish of that size. I believe it was probably the same fish. It was on the same icon. You know, I had it come in the second time on Leviathan. It would make sense. But you just don't know out here. I mean, very often uh, on these lakes, I don't care, spring, summer, fall, you'll run into two fish of the same size or, you know, equal or close to size. Yep. On the same icon, it's not uncommon. That will get your attention. Reels are freezing up. I was kind of hungry. We'll take a little break. We're definitely coming back to that fish tonight. Hopefully she opens wide on a boiler maker. That would kind of... That would help. That would turn your life around. Yeah, that would be a... A slump buster right there. That like, seriously is like <laughs> one of those moments, man. A hard to lift. Hard God. to lift. God, what? <laughs> what? <laughs>